Hello and thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to talk about getting your soundboard hooked to your computer to get a clean sermon recording. I'm going to use the Mackie SR244 VLZ Pro as an example, but this will apply to any analog board or any digital board that's hooked up with an analog cable. So even if you have a digital board, I would suggest you try this method. I find it to be very easy to hook up and more versatile in setting the levels. Currently at my church, we have a Behringer X32 digital board, and we're using this method to hook it up. So using the 244 as an example, we're going to go to the back of the board. And over here to the left, as you're looking at the back of the board, are the aux sends. That's what you're going to want to use to hook up to your computer. These are normally used to send signal to your stage monitors, and they might be being used for that right now. But hopefully you have either aux 1, 2, 3, or 4 open. So you can use for that. 5 or 6 can be used in a pinch. But 1 through 4 can be used pre-fader, which is what we want. We can talk about what pre-fader means in a minute. But let's just say for now we're going to use aux 4 here. And we're going to plug into it. Now the label here says balanced or unbalanced. If we use a balanced cable here, it's going to cause issues on the other end. So we want to use a unbalanced tip sleeve TS cable here, which is a mono signal. So let's talk about cables for a second. So if I go over here to Sweetwater.com, you can see this cable here, the larger end of it is what I'm talking about. It's a tip sleeve connector. So it has one black band on it. And the other end is the end you'd hook to your computer, and it depends on what type of input you have on your computer. If you have a desktop that has a line input or a laptop that has a line input, on a desktop it would be a light blue connector, light blue jack. And on the laptop, unfortunately, these days they're not putting a line in on a lot of laptops. But if you have one, that's what I would suggest you use. So this is a TRS to TS cable, but if you have a computer with a microphone input only, I would use this cable, which has the same larger end, but it has a TS on this end. So it's a TS to TS cable. So you need to decide what type of input you have on your computer, and the mixer side is always the same and then you use a TRS or a TS depending on whether it's a line input or a microphone input. So that's the cable. If we go back to our mixing board, let's go to the channels. So this is the front of the 24-4. And if you're plugged into aux 4, then you're going to want to use this knob right here to along all your channels to set the level going to your computer. So if the pastor's on this channel right here, you'll turn up four on this channel to send more of the pastor to the recorder. So you want to start by going across this row right here and turn number four down on all the channels and then just turn up four for the ones that you want to send to the recorder, which I'll talk about setting the levels in the next video. And also you'll want to have the master aux set to you here and then you can boost or attenuate it as needed. So that is hooking your soundboard to your computer and if you have any issues with this don't hesitate to go to closersharing.com and fill out a contact form if you're not a member or a support request if you are and we'll help you get a great sounding recording.